Flutter app is made up of all the code that you write and the framework code. All of this code is executed on a single thread called the UI thread. Code that takes too much time to execute can block the UI thread from running the framework code, which can lead to dropped frames. By default, Dart runs on a single thread, so if you give it a task that takes one second to complete, that's an entire second where Flutter can't update the app's UI. You might see this jank when your app is executing heavy computational tasks like deserializing large JSON strings, compressing audio and video files, or applying filtering to complex lists or file systems. You can avoid jank by moving the execution of these expensive tasks outside the UI thread and onto a new thread. In Dart, these new threads are called isolates. Isolates can't share memory, they're isolated from each other. And the best way to work with isolates is by calling the static run method on the isolate class, because it simplifies the steps behind managing the worker isolates, and you usually don't need all that fine control anyway. The run method requires a callback function as an argument. And when you call the run method, it spawns a new isolate, runs the callback on the spawned isolate, returns the result to the main isolate, and finally terminates the isolate once the work is complete. Imagine you have a huge JSON file containing metadata for tens of thousands of records, and you want to deserialize that JSON on a separate isolate. Start by loading the file in the main isolate, call isolate run, which you expect to return a list of objects, then pass a callback to the isolate which decodes the JSON and stuffs the data into objects. Although the callback doesn't have arguments, it captures the variables it needs because it's a closure. Now, your app runs smoother and your users have a better experience. For more info on isolates and other Flutter techniques, head to flutter.dev.